If you're looking for a simple plugin that would allow you to accept PayPal donations on your WordPress website, then I would recommend a plugin called PayPal Donations, and it is by Tips and Tricks HQ and Johan Stein. And with this plugin, you can insert a donate button either in your page or post using the short code or in your sidebar using a widget. It is pretty lightweight. And once you install the plugin, come down here to your settings, you will see PayPal donations. And from here, we have two major uh, settings. We have the general settings and advanced settings, but they also have documentation on how you can use the plugin. You can click on this link in here and they do have a premium plugin called the WPE store plugin with which you can accept recurring payments. And it's definitely more sophisticated than the free PayPal donations plugin. You can check it out. But in here for the general settings, you would have to add your PayPal email in here, choose your currency. And you also have some optional settings in here where you can choose a page style. And if you're interested in redirecting the donor as soon as they've made a donation, you can add the URL in here for the return page. Uh, the defaults, you can add defaults amounts for a donation, uh, purpose and reference as well if you're interested. Uh, the button itself, there are three ones that you can choose, but you can also choose a custom button if you're interested. You would have to add the URL in here for the custom button and of course, you can also choose your country and language in here as well. Let's move on to the advanced uh, settings and in here you can disable uh, PayPal statistics. You could also override the theme CSS in which in this case, the plugin will center the PayPal button in the middle of your sidebar or in your page or post. You can open up PayPal in a new tab. Now, if your theme does something called auto styling and for some reason, the PayPal buttons are looking a little bit funky on your page or sidebar. You could remove the line feeds and hopefully this should solve the problem. Uh, you could also enable PayPal sandbox if you want to test payments uh, using PayPal. Uh, you could enable the checkout language as well. And for the return method, I would recommend that you just stick with the default, which is the get method. But if for some reason you're having issues accepting uh, PayPal donations, you may want to contact your web hosts and see if they might offer you some advice regarding the author return methods that you have uh, available. So that's it. Let me just save my changes. Now let's see how to use the plugin. I can go to my widgets in here and from here, I'm going to scroll all the way down here and you can see the PayPal donations button. I can drag that all the way up here to my sidebar, drop that in here. And we have the title. I can add my text, my purpose, my reference. Let me just go ahead and save this. And uh, let's take a look at our website. Let's go to our blog page. And yeah, you see we have our donate button with the PayPal button right there. We can also add it to our pages as well. So let me just go ahead, add a new page and let me just say uh, donate. And for the short code itself, they do have it right here on their page. It's PayPal donation. Notice they also have ways how you can customize the shortcut by adding a purpose and a reference as well. You can see this is the example in here. So let's go ahead and paste the short code. PayPal donation. Let's publish the page. And now let's view the page. And there you go. We have a donate page with the PayPal donate button. So that's pretty much how to set up a donate, a PayPal donate button on your WordPress website. Thank you for watching the video. I will see you in the next class.